Hi, second grade, Mrs. Scallo. Um, today we're going to be doing a project. We're gonna start it uh, this week, and then next week you can make another um, one once I show you what it's gonna be. Um, this week we're going to be doing uh, a two-week lesson on pointillism. Pointillism is basically a group of dots um, put together, like small dots, to make a picture, okay? Um, the artist that we're working on, his name is um, George Surratt. And I did put a picture of his famous um, painting, which is called A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jatte. Um, that's probably French, I, I just can't pronounce it that well. Um, so for this week, week eight, we're gonna be experimenting with pointillism for um, a practice picture. And next week you can do a more structured um, picture like a heart or a flower or a star, anything um, you can do uh, to get creative, okay? So what you're gonna need for this is paper, uh, watercolor paints, some water, and a bunch of Q-tips. Okay, some people have liquid watercolors. I don't, um, I just have this uh, regular color thing, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna dip the Q-tip in the water, okay? Then you're gonna take the paint, mm, start with green. And you're gonna, you're gonna put color on top of the Q-tip, okay? Uh, what I am going to do is start out with um, a circle, okay? So I will show you here. All you have to do is take the Q-tip and press it down on the paper. You can get a couple of prints off one. So right now I started and I have a couple of dots. I'm going to make a, a colorful circle. Now each color you use, you're gonna to have to use another Q-tip because you're gonna get the paint all mixed up if you use um, the same Q-tip, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some more paint. See, I'm gonna dip, dip it in the water and then I'm gonna dip it in the paint. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go around the circle that I already made. I'm gonna add some more water and watercolor. And here is my second row, okay? Let's do a third row. Hmm. hmm, let's do orange, okay. Orange, then I am going to, as you can see, I'm gonna go around the purple with my orange and it's, st it's starting to look kind of like a flower okay you can make pretty much anything with pointillism um now if i wanted to make a stem i'm gonna go back now i can either use my paintbrush 
or I could keep using um, points. And with this, you can make points with anything, with pen. Um, I'm gonna do it with a, a little tiny paintbrush. I'm just gonna make points, tiny little dots. You can make dots with anything, uh, markers, crayons, uh, well, not really crayons, but gel pens. See here, I use my paint to make little dots, okay? My paintbrush to make these dots right here. So this is the beginning of a flower and um, I can make it huge. I can make a couple little ones around this, um, but this is pointillism and it'll create a picture uh, when you're done. As you can see, this is a flower so far and I can make leaves. This is all using dots. Leaves. And you can add a background. You could do whatever you want, but it has to be in little dots, okay? That is called pointillism. This week, we're just like kind of experimenting on the paper so that you get a feel for it. And uh, week nine, you can um, do it again, but do something a little bit more structured, like um, more of um, a finite piece of art. Um, this is just to fool around today. And next week you could do your uh, final picture and post it up in Teams. Um, I hope everyone is staying safe, um, staying home, staying healthy. And I miss you guys very much. And I can't wait to see you.